Hey, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do email marketing and the necessary tools and the steps you need so that you can start building an email list. All right, let's get straight to it. The first thing you're going to need is an ESP or in other words, an email service provider. This is where you can collect all your subscribers. This is where you can send follow-ups, create automations, manage all of your subscribers and their subscriptions. So it's essential to get an ESP, but not just any ESP, but one that is trusted, one that has high deliverability and also customer support. The one that I personally recommend and I use myself is Omnisend. You can see on the back end, I regularly send campaigns and newsletters over to my subscribers. And the great thing and the most powerful thing I think is reaching that audience and following up on them whenever you want, as opposed to social media where it is in the hands of the algorithm and whether that's going to be pushed or not, that is your content and your posts really depends on the algorithm. So if you don't want to worry about all that and stress about that, email marketing is the way to go. And I've personally been building an email list for many, many years, over 10 years. And you can see as an example, right, one of my previous emails, it was sent and opened by over 4,000 subscribers of mine. And that right there is instant attention. You want to get attention to your latest offer, send a newsletter. You want to get attention to your latest content, let's say on YouTube, and boost those views, send a newsletter. So I hope you see the power of email marketing. And there's lots of other things that you can do with your email marketing platform. But the first thing is signing up for an ESP. Now, the great news is at the moment, OmniSend's got a Black Friday special. And if you sign up using the link in the description box below and the coupon code, which I'll also provide in the description, you can save 30% off for the first three months. Now, if you're currently with a different email service provider and you're thinking of migrating or moving your subscribers over, but just seems like such a headache moving all those subscribers, all those tags, all those campaigns, all those automations that you've set you don't have to worry with OmniSend, they actually provide a migration service. So it's kind of like moving houses. It is quite cumbersome. I recently moved not long ago to a new place and I'm relocating once again. And just the boxing up, the packing and unpacking is just such a tedious task. And with OmniSend, the migration process is very efficient, very smooth. All you need to do is contact their chat support and then request a migration and it's all done. If you've got an email list that's quite established and you've got an account that is going to be at least $250 plus per month, then they'll carry over all the automations, the forms, the templates. And what they'll do is they'll get everything prepared for you, campaigns, carts, everything and nothing else to set up. So it's all done for you. If you've got a small account, it's self-service and it's just one click to sync all of your contacts and move them over to OmniSend. I personally had to migrate my own email list over to OmniSend and the whole process was really smooth. And what I like about it is that their customer support are all humans, no AI bots. If you're starting from absolutely nothing, zero subscribers, that's actually a good place because what they also provide is a zero dollar per month plan where you can build up to 250 contacts. So go with that, sign up. Once you've signed up, the first thing I would do is create a form or a web form so that people can opt into your newsletter, your freebie, whatever it may be, so that you can start collecting subscribers, build those contacts. You can see what mine looks like here. It's a simple form where subscribers can sign up to get my weekly newsletter. That's all done on the form section, and then you click on create form. There's a heap of forms to choose from depending on the functionalities that you want and what you'd like it to do. There's like quizzes, there's like multi-step collection uh, forms as well. If you want something really simple, this one here at the top works well so you can click that use template and here we go this is the editor and you're in the editor mode and what you can do is start here and say you know sign up to my newsletter this is a really basic example i wouldn't add a heading like that i would make something more benefit driven one other thing you may consider is a lead magnet or a freebie to give away let's say a checklist 
for how you run your process, or it could be a workbook, it could be a short guide. I found that if you do provide a freebie of some sort, it just increases conversions and that is gonna translate to more subscribers at the end of the day. On the left, you've got different items that you can add. So if you wanna ask for also the uh, first name, you can do so. So we've got input here, drag it right at the top and there we go, we've got the first name already. You can add an image as well let's say at the top here and then you simply upload whatever image you'd like and just very quickly on the right you've got the behavior so what happens after they subscribe you can tag them with certain tags let's say this is for a 10 percent discount this is you know subscribers who signed up for the black friday sale whatever it may be enable double opt-in or not so verified email and there are some other settings as well. You've got theme settings as well. So form layout, how you want it to look like, how you want it to act. For my one right here, this is considered a landing form. So if you go back to Omnisend, you can select landing and then Essentially, once you click uh, enable form, you'll get a URL so that you can use that link to promote your newsletter. In this instance, I'm just going to enable the form so I can show you the URL now provided. So we can click on copy and that right there is our sign up form. Once you have that form, that URL, you can then promote it whether that's on socials, if you create content already on Instagram, on YouTube, wherever it may be, I would start with that. So for instance, on my YouTube videos, every single post, every single video that is, if you look in the description box below, I'm promoting my newsletter, the Productive Digital Creator, sign up for free. That takes them directly to my opt-in form. I'm also putting it on my other socials like Instagram. I use a link in bio for that. And then part of that link in bio page, I put my newsletter URL. Next up, once you've collected subscribers, build a contact list, now is the time when you can actually send campaigns because obviously you've got people in your database. So go to campaigns, click on create campaign, and then this is where you can create your email. You can also do other things like use A-B split testing, testing two different emails. You've got SMS as well. So it gets pushed out to your subscribers' phones. But we're just gonna create an email here. Fill out all the email settings such as a subject line. And by the way, if you see any of these icons, you've got AI power right there so that it'll give you suggestions on what subject lines you could potentially use. So it was a pre-header right here. Once you fill that out, go to choose email template, plenty of templates to choose from. And then you can also filter it right here by different categories. And if you don't find one that's exactly what you want, you can always edit one that's close to what you like and then make those adjustments. But here's one, it's like a welcome new subscribers. Let's just use that template. And this is the editor and you can start by putting your header, logo, anything you want. You can also delete this section altogether. So it's here start by saying that maybe an image and then there's a bit of a heading here as well as the body content anything else you'd like to put feel free to adjust and things like this can easily be dragged and dropped and i like that about omnisend because what you see is simply what you get on the left you've got elements that you can add more text a video perhaps product listing you've got social media icons and stuff html code pre-made blocks so you've got image blocks you've got header blocks content boxes and footer as well. Once you're happy with your email, you can click on preview and test. This is what it's going to look like on desktop. This is what it's going to look like on mobile. And once you're happy with what it looks, go back to the editor, click on save and choose recipients. Choose all of your subscribers or you can choose a segment. Those who with particular tags and filters, you can set it right here or select this option here. But let's say you want to send it to all subscribers then you can review the campaign. There's a few settings here. One that's handy is called a campaign booster. This is where it will send it to those who have not opened your emails so that it gets resent to them because let's face it, emails and our inbox gets quite flooded by many, many emails and people just don't see your emails at the end of the day. So this will help it boost it. In other words, it will just resend it to those who did not open your initial 
email campaign. Really handy in my opinion. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can send it now or schedule it at a certain time so that you're not waiting in front of your computer to send the email campaign. That's campaigns in a nutshell. The next thing that I think is quite foundational is automation. So if you go to automation, you can create workflows. So really simple, complex as you want. But from here, what we can do is create something like a welcome email series, or we can create one from scratch. So here on the right, you've got edit trigger. What trigger do you want it to use? Uh, if someone clicks a message, enter the segment. If a message is uh, sent, opened, you've got uh, subscribed to marketing or viewed a page, you can set it all here. Let's say someone clicks a message, then what will happen is an email will be sent to those particular audiences with more information because they showed interest in that sort of thing, whatever your email included. Otherwise, you could tag them so that you know that they're interested in XYZ topic. And then you can add a tag, let's say, I'm just gonna put advanced. So they are interested in more advanced topics. So that is something that you could potentially do so that the next time you are sending your email and then choosing a segment, you can choose those advanced subscribers only. So if you're sending content or a newsletter that's targeted towards more advanced users, you can do so using this kind of workflow. One thing I can recommend, if you do have an existing offer or product or service that you are looking to make sales on, you can follow this really simple structure. So day one, what will happen is you send a freebie, right? It could be a free guide, a free checklist, a free workbook, whatever it may be. Send it on day zero without promoting anything. On day one, you can share a quick win or a tip related to your topic. So you're giving value. Now, this is all about establishing that trust. And then day two, you tell a short story or share a case study uh, based on the product that you know your customers purchased uh, before and your clients. Day three, you give another valuable insight or a tool. And again, it's all value uh, stacking before you actually go and sell. Day five is you suddenly introduce your product. This could be whatever product, I've just put digital product. And the keyword here is subtle, all right? You wanna subtly introduce it, such as, you know, hey, by the way, did you know I've got this course on XYZ? That's what I mean. And then day seven, you can share testimonials, results, and a reminder of that product that you talked about on day five. Again, this is just an example. It's something that you can use in your automations and definitely create. I don't wanna overcomplicate things and email marketing. So those are what I feel are the essentials that you need to know to get started with email marketing. One of my regrets is not building an email list sooner. So what I recommend you do is build that email list starting now, whether you're starting from scratch, starting zero, or you're already established and you've got a presence online, you've got an audience online, that is more reason to diversify and make sure that you're not putting all of your eggs in one basket. Get started with an ESP. The one that I use and recommend is Omnisend. They've got all the features and the tools that I need to send a newsletter, set up my automations and things like that. And don't forget, you can get 30% off for the first three months by using the coupon code and link in the description box below. And to note again, if you're currently with an existing ESP, go ahead, use their migration service. They're happy to help you migrate from your service to Omnisend. That's all from me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to learn more about email marketing.